Okay, I've got this wired up. Basically, I've got my X carriage plugged in. I haven't plugged in the end stops because the end stops on the Sangalulu use almost like three pins with a blank between where on the ramps you want the two pins together. That's my understanding, so be careful about wiring up your end stops, etc. etc. Now, the, when I first put this on, I was coming over the USB and that powered it up. This is just going to an ATX 12 volts on like this side of the board, 5 amp side. The other side is 11 amps for heat beds and such like. So that's just 12 volts ATX. Now I'm going to turn the ATX on. Oops, I should have. Uh, and you can see it does come up. It says 3D printer ready. Now, when I first used this, it came up with an error about the temperature. And I had to change in marlinconfig.h, I had to change the temperatures to zero, whereas it normally set at 5 degrees, the minimum temperature. And that's a safety precaution, so that's only a temporary measure to get this like working. Now I'll, I'll just go round and I'll show you that this is working. It comes on the same like this if I just have the USB plugged in by the way. So obviously it's getting like a 5 volt signal from this ATX power supply I've got down here. Probably hear it wearing away. I'll just go and change some of the settings on the knob. Well I won't you probably change the settings but I'll just show you it going through the menus. This might be quite awkward for me. I'm gonna press the I think this will work on the ATX anyway. Yes it does. So it does beep. I believe you can turn that beep off it it's more of a click there if you listen and then I can turn this knob uh, one thing I notice it seems to be anti-clockwise it's like opposite let's go under control then we've got temperature motion filament and restore fail safe Oops. Just propped up against the wall here. If we want to go back, there's a small like was arrow up at the top that you can click on, and then it will go back. I don't know what happened there actually. I don't know if there's a timer on it. I don't remember press the button there to go back but we've got various settings of if I press the button again then it comes back here prepare auto home move access now as I say I do have the X axis plugged in Sorry, I'm going out of shot there because I'm zoomed in too much. Let me move over. Oh, this, this is keeps like sliding down. It's just propped up against the wall. Let me leave that on there a few seconds. Let's see if that goes off by itself. Yes, it has. So it's, it must have some sort of time delay there. But if you leave it, it'll go back to the main screen anyway. Now what happens if I press this, does it... No, it seems like I have to... Uh, 
the sort of thing in the menus, go through the menus. So we've got quite a few settings on here. X min, Y min and such like. So let me see if it goes back from this screen. And it has. It's gone it's gone back without me touching anything. So I'm going to try to see if this will move the X carriage. It's left and right, isn't it? I always get mixed up. Well, as you can see, it is working, it's moving the X carriage. But I've actually had to load in a piece of test software for the Arduino. So I'm not going through the Marlin, I'm not going through the like control board. I'm using it with a test program in Arduino that I think cycles all the steppers actually. But I've only got the X carriage plugged in. I'll have to check that's not getting too hot. That seems to be going pretty smooth. Yeah, it's got a bit of torque to that. I can put a bit of weight pressure on that and it's still looks quite powerful actually. Well I've uploaded Marlin and after a bit of fiddling about I have to a certain extent not a hundred percent got it working with this controller oh by the way I was selected killed and once you select killed or stop well they stop this button down here small push button that's on the board so there's a small button just down there right next to this little speaker it says stop if you press that it comes up with killed as you might see there and once you've done that, basically I've got no control over with this board. And then you you basically have to reset it by pressing the side button actually on the ramps. Let me, there's a button on the side. Let me press that and that just down here and that resets the ramps board. And then you get control of this. With this display and what I've had to do is go to prepare go to auto home next second one down let me zoom out because when I do this it will start you want the carriage about in the middle so you want it sort of the motors off and then move it manually to say about the middle all the cabbages that you're going to be wanting to move whichever ones it is in my case it's just the X in this case again the display is automatically gone back even though since that I'm hoping there is a oh by the way it's FR on the here I think I did mention I didn't know what that was so it's FR 100% I assume and that's feed rate okay now let me press this go to prepare again go to auto home press the button and every time I'm pressing a button remembering there's no end stops actually connected up here let me move over a little bit, you might see that. See that's moving, say about five or ten millimeters or so. And then 
after doing that I can go what is it move axis I'm going to go 10 basically th th about three or four settings there that you can adjust like finer how much and now as I turn this knob you can see that that is moving And I can move it there. That's about one click, I think. Move it there, move it there. That's the only movement I've got. It doesn't, I think this, this stepper might be plugged in, like, in reverse, actually, because... That's in plus 40, and it's going in, almost in that direction. Well, that's just a matter of turning the stepper plug upside, well, up the other way. I'm just checking that that is a little bit warm, slightly warm, I wouldn't say hot. Stepper motor, look warm, okay? So the piece that this is working is just getting to know what's what with it. So it's just using ATX 12 volts. Basically that's the only real thing going in apart, well power wise. There's obviously the stepper plugged in and the display plugged in. I'm just going to say about the wires on the, the display but I'm going to unplug it and turn it off before I show you that. Just so I can show you how that's wired up. Before I do go, I've got the potentiometers are pointing over that way towards towards the actual display on the right hand side in my case that is away so the potentiometers in my case are stepping out pointing away from the power supply going in uh, so you can see that potentiometers are pointing on the side away from the power supply going in now it just depends on the actual step head boards that you've got in a way that you plug in here so you have to be careful about which way they're plugging in. Okay I'll just show you that reset button under here so that's just on the side there press that and that sort of reboots if you press kill or stop on it's almost like an emergency stop button that button but I wouldn't Class it as emergency stop it. I haven't tested that. Don't quote me on that. I'll just press it now. And then it... Whoops. Sorry. It's, as you probably can see, there it's coming up killed. Okay. And then basically I've got no control. Sorry. I've got no control of this camera either. I've got no control until I press this reset button on the side and then that reboots the lamps so there are notches in the wires notice that the red wire is going in a way away from the power so the red wire is here on the top on both of them I'll just unplug this wig a little bit so there's a bit of a bump on here And that goes into like a gap in there. Now on the here it does have some markings but they put these plugs almost over the top of the markings I think. But anyway this bottom one here okay I've got going around there and when I turn this over it's going into this one which is marked on this board is marked EXP2 and the top one over here well what I'm going to call a top that's the furthest, absolute furthest away from the power supply over there is going to EXP1 
there's a marking on there so that's going on the left when I'm looking this direction okay actually there is something else I want to do I'll just show you that and again these so the two red are uh, over on the left away from the SD card sorry about that SD card input so EXP2 EXP1 EXP1 is going to this top plug I did put some tippex on here to try and mark E1 and E2 that's just some tippex just remind me okay and likewise this one going to EXP2 and that's that bottom one there don't force these in if they're not going in you've probably got them the wrong way around again got notches on now what I intend to do now is actually I'm going to put this back up where it was and I'm going to actually put a memory card in a storage card SD card this is full size by the way but obviously you can get adapters for if you've got a smaller card and I'm going to see what happens when I put that in see if I can access any G files I've got about three G files on a, a storage card a few fingerprints on here and I'm going to see what happens when I plug that in okay I'll just zoom in and as you can see there's now like almost an image of a, a memory card SD card thing and almost like it's going to be a bar graph going across and all I've really done is change the config.h there's an SD command in there that's been it right, so I'm going to try plugging this card in again this is formatted to FAT32 and some people say you want FAT16 seems a bit silly I don't think you can get FAT16 to be honest so about that put it in there card inserted it's saying on the bottom so it's certainly recognising the card now I don't know how I'm supposed to access that card ah print from SD card so we've got a new command on here that wasn't on here before print from SD card and there are three files spool holder Lucy cat and a venue caliper box let's go on Lucy cat and I'm going to click this uh, and if the printer starts I'm going to probably move over to the printer and then move back, backwards and forwards right after a bit of mucking about it was trying to come to the temperature and I thought it was in the config files and such like but no it's actually within the G code file so I've changed the temperature in the G code file to zero for one of the files Lucy the cat just excuse me while I stay Lucy the cat that's it let's see actually because I haven't got the Zevo thing force it over shouldn't do that but as you can see it's going through the actions of as if it was printing on the X carriage and that is coming directly from the G code on the SD card that's plugged in the side here it gives the positions well these aren't accurate obviously because I haven't got zero end stops on or anything like that but as you can see it's, it's updating the position of the, the head all the time as it Focus. 
พสดอาศัยโกสต์ตัว like the print cycle and this bar graph at the bottom is gradually moving along giving some sort of time there or one I presume that's in minutes let me do this again so you can see that the like X carriage is moving presumably as it should be sounds like it's moving and it seems to be moving about the distance I would expect not in the right position because as I say no zero end stops the only thing that's plugged in is the X cabbage really and that is about it well when I say about it it's got the power supply and the stepper motor plugged in and obviously to a certain extent the display itself plugged in so that seems to be working now I did try switching on the Y bed at the same time but was struggling with that so I do think the steppers want the voltage ampage turning up a touch that is definitely going through some sort of peak, uh, print sequence you can hear how it's going different distances like that Let's have a look at this. This might go out as focus a bit. Right, pull focus, there we are. So send to 73% is seen over there. I presume the 73% is how long it's got left to see if that goes down. I presume this is how long it's been working for. I'll come back when it moves, well, near the end somewhere, unless something goes wrong. I was saying 160 up there. I do not know why there's this place in 160. I've asked for zero degrees in the actual file, but it's going through the printing actions. As I say, no hot end plugged in, nothing. And I've just noticed there that there is a red light on here. Let me see. Feel the steppers. Shape sort of more. They feel cool. Can't feel any heat there. Let me actually feel the stepper motor very 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 slightly warm right I'll turn off now and as I say I'll come back when it gets on well now it's saying 82 percent this is isn't a very big file so it shouldn't take too long anyway just thought I'd show you that it's in 100% there but still going 15 minutes those are apparently minutes of time to on my wristwatch it's a little bit pulling out of focus there let's try and zoom out a bit and obviously it's still going through the actions as if it was printing obviously just the X cabbage there because that's all I've got plugged in. Oh, by the way, I did turn the motor plug around. As you've seen, probably in the earlier test, it did seem to be going in the wrong direction, but now I think it will be going in the correct direction. The heatsink for that one feels cool. Just feels just the same as the others that aren't even being used so that's okay the actual stepper motor has a little bit of warmth to it that's all I say not hot it's comparing with the others the others are cold so it's a bit of warmth 
to that step of mortar and that's it. Not hot. It's okay. So I presume when it's getting, now it's gone to 95%. Now some people do say that the percentage on these can be a bit out I believe. I don't know, don't quote me on that. I haven't done a massive amount of research but when I've been looking on the internet I'm sure I've come across that as being an issue sometimes. I think we need to go by the bar graph sort of thing at the bottom and I'll come back when that's getting near the end over that way. Now I have just remembered there's a small very almost full stop size dot and it's blinking on and off just in the bottom right hand corner here I don't know if you can see that I'll try to get a closer look There are some fingerprints on here. Obviously I've been doing a lot of moving it about and such like it's just dropped up here but if you, you might have noticed just in the bottom right hand corner there there's that small dot pulsing. It's right in the corner. One, uh, one and two and three. Three or four seconds I think. 21% it's saying. And it does sound like it's going through the finishing off actions on the actual printer there. As I say only X plugged in. I'm happy with that. And there we are, it's finished. So what does it say? So it actually says 22 minutes there at the bottom and also where the bar graph was. So it's finished and it's basically just stopped where it was. Obviously I haven't got any end code or anything in here. So yep, that seems to be working fine. Now I might take some time doing this because these boards they almost have, well not almost, they actually do have, get, they have like a double, two rows of pins for the Z. And for all the others they just basically got one row of pins, that's my understanding anyway. But for the Z they've got two rows of pins in case you have a double, like Z motor, which I well my printer does use it has one on the left over there and it has has one on the right over here you can't really see it but there is another stepper motor down here and that one over there is. at the moment with my sangalulu which is down here it's coming out one way and going into like a y so it's been like diverted to two steppers but this board seems to have the two lots of pins and that's really what I intend to use is the two lots of pins because you always have to watch out for ampages and such like with one lot of pins it might and like diverting into two as it does with the Sangalulu it might not be able to really handle the amperage I would be unsure about that so I do want another plug for that and I have two lots of wires so that's more wiring more plugs and crimps etc etc okay so I'll just show you the top of the board again and show you the display